thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. on Spyro you have much to learn first do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing uh... his name is Sparks and he's helping and protecting you keep an eye on him and see what I mean cool flash do that again the artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Hey, Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid flight. secret? Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Hi, Spyro. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now. If you feel you are ready. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Try K 
Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead, try it! This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly! I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings! Learn to fly! Got it! Gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters' world as well. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. Bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's homeworld? Waterfall. Sounds good. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. Oh, and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Spiral. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Think 
Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no! Why, I remember... Uh, uh gotta go! I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Spyro, for an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Huh. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Spyro, nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. Spyro, I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry, the only one that's gonna be trapped is him. Hold your horns, here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most, Nasty Nork. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty is really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Wow, 
I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. I, uh, I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah! I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof! Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, well, thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Oh. 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 Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Sergeant Bird, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Um, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Ooh, uh, because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it for this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Huh. Uh, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes! <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursi! Now hold on! <laughs> <laughs> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Yippee! I'm free! Thanks, Spyro. Ooh, say, you ever see a bear dance? <laughs> uh, no? Well, it's your lucky day! Check this out. Quite a dancer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah! Yippee! Woohoo! Wish you could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. You know what I mean? You bet. Later! Ha, 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 ha!